What up, 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 everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Early morning. We getting it in. Early morning real quick. Rise and grind. Shine and ride. That's how we doing it. Well, I don't got that much time this morning because Brooke coming on in 30 minutes. So go ahead at Brooke in 30 minutes. I'm coming back two more times today, three more times a day. So I'm going to get y'all the first wave, which is going to be the shortest wave. And then me and Brooke going to be tag teaming all day today. Um, and we got to get this information out here. Also, uh, I will be coming back at approximately um, from the day I meant from, from this morning. I'll be coming back at approximately 1.30 again. Then from 1.30, don't forget the big interview at 8 p.m. where we will have part two over here with Ms. Sean Russell. But y'all see the headline, Don Russell status hearing update and other news. Let's go. Well, I'm going to tell y'all, uh, if y'all been looking at the sub, I mean, if y'all been, look, look, been looking at the news, um, a Florida governor, I mean, a Florida prosecutor said that, that the governor of Florida cannot stop an extradition or extradition of, of Donald Trump to New York if, if he's indicted. So everybody been talking Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Well, here's your chance. If he's indicted, you'll see him get extradited to court just like everybody else. So let's see where that go. So um, I'm going to go through some things real quick. Uh, the Don Russell update will be the last update that I do. I got one, two, three. I got three things to form y'all in and then that. Um, so let's go with something that should upset parents. If you're a parent out here and you... If you're a parent out here and you have a child that's in public schools, this should make you damn right upset. Um, I, th I think it's very racist. That's just my opinion. I think it's very racist. But you see the headline news. Black high school athlete disrespected and humiliated after being forced to cut his braids. Let's talk about it. High school sophomore Nicole Powell is fighting to end discrimination against black student athletes after she was forced to cut her braids during her softball, softball team's final game of the season. Nicole and her father, Julius Powell, join News Now to discuss how the incident has affected her and how the school board is reacting. Okay, well, wait a minute. The headline said... Sorry, I don't understand. Hold on, Google. But the headline said, Black high school athlete disrespected and humiliated after being forced to cut braids. Well, let's hear what the parents have to say real quick. Um, I'll let that go. Mm -hmm. Sophomore Nicole Piles playing in her team's final home game of the season in Durham last month, just before she cut the beads out of her hair. Piles says she was forced to do it or leave the game after the umpire told her coach that her hairstyle covered the number on the back of her jersey. The state's high school athletic association has sided with the umpire, saying the rules forbid the use of hair beads. 
Nicole Piles joins us now to share more of her story along with her father, Julius Piles. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for joining us and to talk about this experience. Nicole, first, just take us back to this moment. You realize that you only have these two choices, either cut your hair right there. I understand. I think your teammates even had to help you or leave your final home game of the season. I mean, how'd you feel? What was going through your mind? Well, I was upset because I didn't feel like I needed to leave my team because they are my family and I feel mm -hmm. like I needed that game to keep going. I was upset and I was humiliated. And I was disrespected, especially on senior night in front of family, friends, like older students that came back to see us play on our senior night. And it just hurt because it was like, you only want to apply this rule to me once we start getting up in a little bit of points and like you have nothing else better to do but to use a rule to hold me down. Julius, you pointed out this was not the first time that Nicole wore beads in her game during a game. Why do you think this time was different? And, and as her father, just what was your reaction to this? Well, actually, I wasn't at the game. I learned about uh, the, what had taken place when she returned home late on that evening. Um, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Answer that question again. I no, we're, got yeah, I mean, just first, what was your reaction to this? But also, do, why do you think this game might have been different if Nicole had worn beans in the past? Uh, well, I think it's, I think it was racially motivated based off the fact that the high school they was playing, which was Jordan High School, and um, and what we had learned was that the the person that was supposed to, that was identified as a coach was a, actually a parent, from my understanding that uh, spoke to another referee, which was uh, a white gentleman, who in turn spoke with the uh, umpire, uh, who was a, a black gentleman. And uh, as my daughter had stated previously, um, she had been playing in front of that umpire before, and it was never an issue. I did get to attend one of her games like a couple of weeks prior to, and it wasn't an issue about uh, any beads. So uh, I think it was racially motivated based off the fact that it was never an issue. And now, actually, your school district has issued a statement saying, we believe the blanket ban on hair beads is culturally biased and problematic. We support our student, Nicole Piles, and believe this rule should be amended. Nicole, have you heard from the district personally? Have they reached out to you? And what do you hope comes of this? Um, the district did reach out to us, we, right? Yeah, Thursday. No. Yeah, like Thursday, we had, we, um, had a conversation about it. What was your second question, ma'am? And just what do you hope comes from this? I just hope the rule changes and people learn mm -hmm. that, like, we can't have rules that aren't, they're not going to, I'm sorry, lost for words. They're not going to apply to everybody. We're going to have rules that need to apply to everybody and not just certain, that you know do certain things. Because it's my understanding that we're allowed to wear barrettes or something during games, but beads, I mean, the culturally insensitive rule. Mm. Right. We know this is certainly sparking more discussion. This is not the first time something like this has happened around the country. So, mm. Nicole and Julius, we thank you both for joining us this morning to talk more about this. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. That right there will bother me because you take my kid because she wear beads. The first lie was the beads the first lie was that the beads cover the numbers as y'all seen the beads did not cover the numbers i'm sorry if i didn't speak to anybody i want to say hello everybody that's here hugs and kisses to everybody in the mass um i just wanted to get this commentary out real quick before brooke jumps on and then then i come back with more commentary and jump back on again and then keep bringing y'all today because the day is commentary Monday. So um, I want to say hello, everybody. I apologize if I didn't speak. Dream team, old co friends, family, people in the bushes, and the three people who don't like me, I thank you anyway. But let's get them likes up and let's continue. And let's not let nobody that's having a bad day spoil us. But I will say this. If you're having a bad day, give it to God. You will have a great day if you give it to God. So um, let's continue. Uh, that's very, very stereotypical. Um, I'm reading some of the comments and, uh, somebody said, uh, in a comment, that's what happened. That's what, that's what they do here in North Carolina. 
when white parents get mad when their kid sucks at sports. So, like I was saying, and the number um, of the beads that didn't even co- cover the top part of the number. So what do they mean by when they say the beads were covering the number? That's the first thing. And then if nobody paid attention, um, I'm, I'm going to bring it back. But they said uh, that that the team that Miss Powell's was playing on, they were up. And the other parents got mad. And then the empire was a parent. And the coach was a parent. Like, wait a minute. Y'all got kids playing on the other team, but y'all get mad because this colored team is spanking y'all. And we see that at its finest, and we cannot let that go. All right. Let me get this out real quick. Um, for everybody who don't know, I'm just updating y'all with some stuff that's going on real quick. And before I jump into the meat and the potatoes of the lot. So I'm just giving you the feelings right now. If you pay attention, it says Supreme Court to take up major abortion case that could undermine Roe versus Wade. Uh, the, the U.S. Supreme Court announced Monday it will take up an abortion rights case seen as a major challenge to vote to Roe versus Wade and what would be the first direct test on the issue for the court's new conservative majority, including three, including the three justices nominated by President Donald Trump. I got two problems with this. Why do they want to keep including the three justices nominated by President Donald Trump? If Donald Trump wasn't the president, why y'all keep addressing him as the president? Like I say, there's a lot of stuff going on in the shadows that a lot of people who's not woke don't know about. But I've spoken about this, but I don't need this channel to be taken down by YouTube. So therefore, I'm going to just leave that there. Um, I'm going to give you a platform to come follow me when I talk about presidential stuff, when I talk about election stuff. So the justices said Monday that next term they would hear Mississippi's appeal of lower court decisions striking down a state ban on all abortions after 15 weeks. With exception of medical emergencies of severe fetal abnormality, more erosion of reproductive rights with 28 abortion restrictions signed in four days. Report, the court said it would be considering the question of whether all pre-viability prohibit prohibitations prohibits uh yeah prohibitations i'm sorry on elective abortions are unconstitutional the case will likely be argued next fall and decided by june 2022 the lone abortion clinic in mississippi responded to the court's announcement calling the case a strategy to eliminate abortion access entirely Abortion remains legal in Mississippi, and the ban will remain blocked as the Supreme Court reviews the case. Diane Derzies, the owner of Jackson Women's Health Organization, the sole abortion clinic in Mississippi, said in a statement that the ban would mean for her patients who says, say, said in a statement, what the ban could mean for her patients who who she says she sees travel to the clinic. If this ban were to take effect, we would be forced to turn many of those patients away and they will lose their right to abortion in this state. Mississippi politicians have created countless barriers for people trying to access abortion, intentionally pushing them later into pregnancy, Dursey said. It's all a part of their strategy to eliminate abortion access entirely. According to the Center for Reproductive Rights, 12 other states have attempted to enact abortion bans at various points in pregnancy since 2019. And and each ban that has been challenged has been subsequently struck down. Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Montana, Missouri, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Utah. Nancy Northrup, the president and CEO of the Center for Reproductive Rights, said that 
The consequences of a reversal would be devastating in a statement. Alarm bells are ringing loudly about the threat to reproductive rights, Northrop said. The Supreme Court just agreed to review an abortion ban that un unquestionably violates nearly 50 years of Supreme Court president and is a test case to overturn Roe versus Wade. Abortion opponents were pleased. States should be allowed to craft laws that are in line with both public opinion on this issue as well as basic human compassion instead of the extreme policy that Roe imposed. Janine, Janine Mancini, president of March for Life, said in a statement. Man. Man, that's major. That's major. That's major. So what do y'all think about that? Because that's major. See, all these things going on under the distraction of COVID, of coronavirus, and y'all see everything that's being put out there. I got one more thing. Before I jump out there real quick, um, let's see. Okay, this one is quick. So let's talk about this, and then we're going to hop into Donnell Russell. <laughs> Here we go. U.S. Supreme Court. <laughs> Here we go. The court busy. For, oh, for everybody to have COVID restrictions, the Supreme Court is busy. The U.S. Supreme Court limits police power to enter homes with no warrant. Time out. What about uh, the lady up in Louisville? Now y'all want to pass this because they want to push for a bigger lawsuit. And even though the parents took some sort of settlement due to the snake um, representing them, now y'all want to go and try to change this? Come on, man. Like, why couldn't this been enacted with Supreme Court when it first happened before and the young lady in Louisville? Let's see what they say. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday refused to make it easier for police to enter a home without a warrant for reasons of health or public safety, throwing out a lower court's decision to dismiss a lawsuit brought by a Rhode Island man after officers entered his home and confiscated his guns. The justices directed the Boston-based first U.S. Court, Circuit Court of Appeals to reconsider Edward Calaglia's lawsuit accusing police of violating his constitutional rights by bringing him to a hospital for a mental health evaluation and taking away his guns without a warrant after a, two, a 2015 argument with his wife. Well, I'll be. Let's see where that go, y'all. That's what we're going to do over here. We're going we gonna to keep an eye out on that and see where that go. All right, Don Russell. Many people have sat up there and said, Don Russell is for R. Kelly. Don Russell is trying to help R. Kelly. Well, for many that knew, it was a status conference today. The status conference lasted two minutes and 16 seconds. Zola said, Dana, is it true that where our video put last week? Huh? Dana, is it true that there was a video put out last week of Robert shooting basketball? I not see it, but read comments on video pop on my page. Why ask you? Okay. Zola, I don't know. I've heard I've heard stuff about it. But I don't think nobody going to risk their job doing it. So that could be an old video of him hooping. But I know I, I don't I just don't see nobody doing nothing that stupid right now. Mike Jones was up. <laughs> so 
I'm going to go here. As y'all know, it was a status conference today. And, you know, everybody say, Don Russell's for Robert. Don Russell's for Robert. Y'all heard his sister come out and tell y'all he's not even for Robert and he don't even like Robert. Y'all heard his sister come out and say, right? Y'all heard me saying it for a while. For almost two years now. Uh, my email is book, B-O-O-K, Dana J. Let uh, me put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. So y'all heard. Y'all heard me say for two years. That Don Russell was one of the main reasons why Robert is locked up. Thank you, Toy. Thank you, Willie. Y'all heard me say that, right? <clears throat> why, why, why Robert is one of the main reasons is because of Don Russell. A lot of people has tried to deflect it. A lot of people was like, oh, no, Dana don't know what he's talking about. A lot of people say, oh, no, Dana ain't saying this because Dana don't know. It was up, Mona. But then you see more and more people coming out, not just from me, but from both sides. People who don't like Robert, people who's not for Robert, and people who is for Robert, right? So today, we learned that Dana was right again. That Don Russell is still in plea negotiations. Wait. If Robert is your guy, and you got the tools to get him out, why are you in plea negotiations? And then, and then you heard the federal government say the plea is being stretched out. Paraphrasing. I could listen to the words that she used, but I go back in and see if I can uh, recover it. But you heard it say plea negotiations is being stretched out. That's what I'm going to use. So for y'all that don't know that he's still in plea negotiations. So I don't know what other people are saying on that platforms because I'm making it a better way and changing and not engaging and what people say about me or what people say on their platforms. That's what they say. My platform is to bring you the truth about what's going on, not just for Robert, but for current events and everything else. So I might not be the first to bring it to you, but I'm going to be the consistent or one of the most consistent and behind me, Sky Zone, Prima Donna, Brooke, um, Senator Sane, and a couple others who I can't remember right offhand. That's why I don't like calling names. So I am going to be giving it to you raw as it is. And y'all heard me say some things in the past, like, 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 hold on, Miss, hold on, Miss V. I'm going to read what she said. No, no, put it back up there. I was about to read it. So, so you heard me say some things in the past. Um, and I believe Ms. Visby said that when people enter plea negotiations, but that means they did things wrong, which is absolutely right. Nobody who's innocent is going to get into a plea negotiation. Dana, when people plead, that means they have done things wrong. Right, 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 Ms. Ms. Right, Ms. Visby. So my thing is, you haven't heard Robert take a plea. But you heard Richard Allline take a plea. You had Michael Williams take a plea. And Don Russell, is, and the only reason why he didn't take a plea today is because he's trying to run all of his charges into one charge, and he's trying to run them concurrent. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, I hope the judge say no. I hope the judge says no. 
And I'm going to tell you why. Because if Robert got to sit for two and a half years, that mf shouldn't have no easy time going to jail when he orchestrated this mastermind plot to destroy Robert. That's what I'm going to say for better words. If you orchestrated a plan to take down Robert and you know Robert ain't do nothing, you should get the abundance times 10 the time because you took away two years from this man's life. You took two years from this man's fans. You took two years from this man's love, which is recording. And you took two years from this man's overall projects of getting projects out, which means his fans have been robbed. What about, hey, Karen J, some people plead because they are scared with federal tactics. 20 years versus two years, I have witnessed it. I agree, Karen, but in this case, nah, nah, he ain't scared. He sh- th- 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 this is my thing. If you're going to be scared to do a crime, I mean, if you're going to be scared for the backlash of a crime, why weren't you scared when you did the crime? Thank you. But that's all I'm saying. Why weren't you scared when you was doing a crime? And this is the part that I'm getting to that people have to understand. You taking a plea, meaning that you had to give some sort of statement, some sort of evidence, some sort of something that make you look good and make the overall golden goose look bad. But see, I'm looking at another angle. This might not be the actual angle. That's not true. People do plea deals in criminal cases because plea bargain involves reducing a felony to a misdemeanor. Okay, Sam, I am. If that's what you say, that goes hand in hand in what I said. And what I said was he's trying pretty much, and I've been saying this for a while, he's trying to lessen his sentence. So therefore, he haven't took a plea because he's trying to get all his charges from Eastern District to Southern District all come all compiled into one charge. So what's not true, Sam? Sam, I am. What's not true? Anyway, I know innocent people that took plea not saying that's done. I don't think he's innocent. I agree, Karen. So I'm going to say this. If Richard Arline, Don Russell, and Mike Williams' story add up, it's just Robert. So that means it's all three of them against Robert. And and what people got to realize is what I had to realize over the weekend. On YouTube, you can use people as a bargaining tool. And that's what he has done. He got people believing, oh, he's for Robert. That's what he got people really believing. He's for Robert. Well, if that's the case, why steal stuff out of the studio? Why take stuff? out of the warehouse after the federal government go in it. And then when people ask you to bring it back, you don't say, I don't have it. You don't say this. You don't say that. You say, why? Then from why you go from Rob gave me a bill of sale for his music. Everybody know that that's a lie. Rob don't sell his music unless it's directly from him. So 
Come on. Let's call a spade a spade. We did two and a half years of beefing with each other on the internet. Now, I'm going to do the rest of this time putting the rubber to the road and nailing people where they need to be nailed at. <laughs> I understand three things. One, I'm the prize runner in this joint. Two, nobody knows just as much as I know on this internet. Three, there's no need to keep arguing when other people don't know shit. I'm going to go there. Everybody going off of feelings. Dana, you know what you know, so why go off of feelings? Lisa said, Don the Khan is not for R. Kelly. He is for himself. And when he go down, he going to take the rest of those dummies with him. Trust, he not going to save that. Of course he not. Of course he not. But my question is, if your plea agreement is stretch, from what I'm understanding, when you stretch your plea agreement with the feds, one or two things going down. One, you're trying to get more information. Two, you're trying to get your charges ran concurrent and all together. Or three, you just might be doing everything one and two together. And what people have to realize is now you have to take a stand. If you're going to rock for Robert, you got to do things that's not going to hurt Robert. If you're rocking for Don, then continue rocking the way you're rocking. But I'm going to say this. For people that say, oh, Don Russell's innocent, this and this and this, Don Russell have another status, here, status conference hearing this Friday, May the 21st at 2.30 p.m. Also, what people have to realize that I know ain't nobody going to talk about is Robert's case or trial starts. It starts August the 9th, right? Watch this. Here's the scary part of everything. Robert trial starts August the 9th. It's supposed to be four to six weeks. What? Hold on. Ms. Visby said, Dana say Don gets three years. Say they get more information. Could they add to it? Or does everything have to be done before he gets sentenced? Everything have to be done before he gets sentenced. But they can't, but they can't sentence you and then come back and give you some more information. That's double jeopardy. They can't do that. Just like with Larry. Larry got sentenced already. There's nothing more they can do to him except for try to mess up his probation. That's it. But as far as Larry's sentencing, he's already been sentenced, but they can't come back and sentence him more. They can't do that. Karen J said, do you think Don the Khan prolonged the plea negotiations going to delay our RSKK? No, no. That's what I'm about to get to, Karen. Robert's trial starts August the 9th, right? Four to six weeks. Four to six weeks would take us to September the 9th, four weeks. Two more weeks after that, it would take us to September the 19th or the 20th. Let's go there. Or if you really want to max it out, it would be the 23rd. Time out. Don Russell's next status hearing is September the 23rd. At 1030. What do that mean? He will not be in the courtroom when Robert goes to court. That means Don has achieved what he was trying to do. He do not want to face Robert. Nor be in the same case with Robert. So if 
Don Russell case has already been merged over to Robert. Guess what? All those charges are now Robert charges. Even though Don going to get his separately, everything that Don is charged with now has been slapped onto Robert. Make it make sense. Zola, I hear you when you say Nicole going to set fire to those accusers and liars. I get it. I get it. I love Nicole. Always have was one of the first ones on this side to meet Nicole. Toy Smith said they can subpoena him to court too, Dana. Okay, but that's what the plea negotiations is for. If I'm, listen, if I'm going to go into a plea negotiation, right? My first thing is I don't want no subpoenas. I don't want to show. I want to do whatever you want to give me. And I'm giving you X, Y, and Z. Can you cut this time? That's what my plea negotiation would be. If I don't want to face nobody, why would I allow them to subpoena me? No, you put that in a plea negotiation. And once you put that in a plea negotiation, then, and you see how they're going to carry it. But something just don't seem right about this plea negotiation. I'm going to tell you why. If you listen to the status conference, Everybody was happy except for Don. Don sounded like he was crying. Now you got to look at it like this. Could the roosters that he laid have hatched? Now, I'm going to go here. And you're going to hear me say something real crazy. My honest thing. And I'm going to keep it a buck. My prayer was for nobody to get locked up. As much as y'all heard me say, I wanted Don to get locked up. I'm going to keep it a buck. My prayer was for nobody to get locked up. My prayer was for everybody involved to get help. Dana, why would you say that? Because at the end of the day, This could be an opportunity for Don to try to work on his relationship with his kids. This could be a time that Rob could, could, could be releasing music to his fans and building a stronger base with his kids. But I realized that everything has an end game. And the end game is when people are just so hell-bent on destroying people and doing whatever they want to do, the chips got to fall where they may. Hey, Mama Mary, how you doing? How's your hubby doing, Mama Mary? Um, the chips got to fall where they may. So now that the chips are stacking, some people has done so much, it's beyond trying to reconcile is beyond trying to fix things the best way to fix things is to leave it alone that's the best way the best way is to leave it alone but nobody is looking at the lens that i'm looking at first robert is accused of the man act Second, Robert is accused of these women and stuff like that, right? Then Robert is accused of passing herpes. Now the story has turned. Now Robert is instructing people to blow up cars and threaten people. I need the federal government to, to uh, stick to a story. Because how can one man do all these things and be a musical genius and record 
and travel to get from place to place. Nobody has ever answered that question. Even when I went and proposed that question to Larry and Okove, nobody answered that question. And the first thing they say is, read the paperwork. No, we ain't reading the paperwork because anybody can say anything in the paperwork. Let's read, let's read truth. How can one man do all these things and be as great as you are? Now, if you told me that Ralph Tresvant done that, I'd be like, okay. I just learned that rapper, producer Molly Mall. He did some things. You know, Sam I am said it's a smart business move to keep negotiation with his case. And the system makes innocent people take plea deals all the all the time just for conviction. It's a lot of misconception around plea. Well, I'm going to say this. Don Russell is not innocent. Let's destroy that real quick. Not innocent at all. And if you've been around watching on YouTube, you know for a fact that Don is not innocent. Well, if you've been watching stuff from where I've been watching it from, I've been new for a fact that Don is not innocent. I understand it's a plot and a Ponzi scheme. Don Russell is Bernie Madoff and everybody else falls underneath that rocks with him and rocks for him. So Sam, I am. I mean, I would love to see who you are. And I would love to have a debate with you about this. Um, I know me and Dabowski was supposed to do a courtroom battle or debate, but that has been pushed off. Ho hopefully, it'll be one day this week that me and Dabowski can get in and lock horns as he represent his client, Don Russell, and I'll be the uh, AUSA. So I'm going to say it. And I'm going to say it again. Don Russell is not an innocent dude. So I don't think it's a smart business move to keep negotiating when he know he's not innocent. He's playing innocent for YouTube. So that way, YouTube folks can keep applying him to Robert. The more y'all make Don Russell, Michael Williams, and Richard Arline seem like they're close and attached to Robert, the more years Robert going to get. Remember, y'all heard it here first. Because what was done was done on federal grounds. What was done was done on personal property. Now, I know I've heard people say, Michael Williams blew up the car. Okay, boom, but they caught him for that. What y'all don't know is that for every kid, what you don't know is for every kid, there's seven years. So how many kids was in the house? Hey, Purple Purple. So how many kids was in the house when that car blew up? That's stuff you got to look at. And if all of them took a plea deal, but that means they all going to say Robert Sylvester Kelly knew about it and allowed us to do it, which means Robert going to get that, that, that plus some. And then you got to look at what about Chicago? More people has been added. Nobody's paying attention. I hope it don't happen, but from what I'm hearing is that it might be another superseding indictment, which going to piss me all the way the hell off because y'all reaching beyond the stars. And now y'all trying to get people to talk bad about this man when none of the people that y'all reaching to came out to speak ill about this man. Robert Spencer Kelly, I'm talking about. People can say what they want to say. It's what you can prove. That's true, Toy. 
But in racketeering, it ain't much to prove. If Don Russell, Richard Allline, and Michael Williams say, yo, Robert had us do this, and it's just Robert saying, no, I didn't, it's their word against his word. But then you got proof. Michael Williams did blow up a car. Richard Arline was caught on wiretap for robbery, trying to rob Azriel. Who was Azriel? When I last recall, Azriel was Robert's girlfriend that left. That's all you need is to know. If Robert say, man, I didn't know about none of this. Well, you got all the key players that know you. And the way the federal government try to play it is how they know what's going on, but you don't. If his, if Nicole and, and Tom and them can break that down, Robert got a great chance of walking. But then we're going to have to look at some other things. If Nicole and them can break that down and prove Robert's innocence, now it turns to Don Russell. Why did you lie in court? Why did you lie under oath? Now it turns to Michael Williams. Why did you lie in court? Why did you lie under oath? Now it turns to Richard Arline. We gave you a sweet deal and you lied. Now, how do that play out? Toy so said, ask yourself this. She was living with RSK. So why wait till she leaves and try to harm her when he could ease when he could have easily did something four years, four years, four years ago? I think she's trying to say, but she said four years old. Make that make sense. Exactly, Toy. That's the point that I'm making. Hold on. Everything happens today on a Monday. Got my package. All right. Got my package. Yeah. I love my maintenance folks. Sorry about that, y'all. I got my package. I got my package. I've been waiting on this package. I got my package. All right, so, so here's my thing. We're going to have to put perspective into, ooh, ooh, what is, somebody sent me a shirt. Hold on. I got to send a shirt. Oh shit. Oh, I gotta send the shirt, yo. Hold on. Color Wall Street, man. <laughs> I gotta send the shirt. <laughs> I gotta send something else too. 
sent me a shirt. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for my Jackson State shit stuff. I'm sorry. Okay. So, one 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 of my cousins is the running back for Colorado State Rams, and he sent me a shirt. That's what's up. God damn. All right. So let's get back on topic for the shirt and all that. I do got it. I do. I get the three dollars for that stuff that I put. Oh, that scared me. I ain't know what it was. All right. So thank you, Georgia girl. So, so the thing is, we have to. Stop le- running with our emotions. We have to stop. Um, I ain't gonna front. Some people might like Don because he's a smooth talker. Some of us don't. Some of us know Don for who he is. Like me. I ain't playing with it. But I'm not going to keep beating a dead horse because I done told people what it was. Mario, I'm going to say this. It's so heartbreaking for people to not even know Robert. But to see people make comments like that is crazy. And see, and I'm a person where I believe in putting people on that square. You said Robert wanted to be with everybody, little girls, except for his. Here's my question. Do you know Robert firsthand? Oh, the Mars over here ain't playing. But do you know Robert firsthand? If you don't know Robert firsthand, you can't say that because I'm still waiting for somebody to. I'm still waiting for somebody to tell me. W.I.S. I'm still waiting for somebody to tell me. Where was this underage girl that they allege? Joy was in college. Asriel was three months. Before she turned. 18, but Azriel was signed over or emancipated. I'm gonna keep saying it because that's what happens when, 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 whenever you sign a child over, you emancipate that child, whether it's knowingly or unknowingly. But ignorance is not an excuse in a court of law. Um, and they will tell you that so. At the end of the day, where was the underage girl? I heard people saying it. Oh, no, it's in the iCloud. It's in this and then this and then this. Look, anybody can say anything on these phones. I can sit up here and say, I, 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 I can sit up here and text Ms. Virgo Gray and say, I love having sex with you. That was the greatest sex that I ever had. That, that'll be in my phone. And I sent it to her. So it'll be in her cloud and my cloud. But but the truth is, I've never seen Miss Virgo Gray a day in my life. See, are y'all see what I'm saying? So it's easy to say whatever. I can even send pictures. That don't mean that I committed the act. If that's the case, I'm going to keep it a buck. I've had people send me videos of them fucking or screwing or playing with themselves or whatever. Did that mean that I had sex with these people? Also, here's what I see on the backlash. If they can convict Robert of this, that means they can go into your bedrooms and tell you who to have sex with and how to have sex with them. 
This is what nobody wants to break down. And when we're talking about Robert, it's a breakdown. I'm getting back on my R. Kelly shit. And I'm going to bring it in a breakdown form. I'm not going to step on nobody's toes, but I'm going to put the truth out there. And if the truth step on your toes, then that's what the truth does. The truth is what the truth is. And I believe that's why you haven't heard from Robert because he don't have to defend them lies. Let's keep it a buck. Like on a panel on Saturday, y'all seen me laughing when the young lady said, he's part of the setup of R. Kelly. He had sex with the girls. Him and two other people. Yo, I'm sitting up here looking like, huh? So I just started laughing. Like, yo, the shit was funny. One thing I'm not going to do is lie on my penis. If I was there, I'd tell you I was there. And trust me, if I was there, you best to believe that other person enjoyed it. So I just don't understand, man. Like, everybody just need to stop. This Don Russell situation is teaching me a lot of things. This R. Kelly fight has taught me a hell of a lot of things. And I'm going to follow what I've been learning. Because even though it wasn't an easy road and it didn't feel good all the time, I'm thankful. For now, I know how to maneuver in life even more. Miss Hot Pink in the building, what's going on? Kelly Nicole said, but how? How and when did Kells direct him? Who did he talk to? No one. Kelly Nicole, I stand right there with you, 10 toes deep. And I will slap fives with you and say, you hit it on the head. This is what makes this case complex. Because now when it comes out that Robert didn't direct none of them, then they're going to go back to the drawing board. What is the drawing board? These females. And what, and, and what the federal government want people to not know is that that's all you got to do is discredit one. If you discredit, if you discredit one, everybody else is a liar. Reason being, they all got the same playbook. Georgia girl said, you learn everyone not your friend. That's right. And on top of that, it took my enemy to keep me updated on the frenemies that was around me. That's my thing. And then the other thing is, Rob don't have to prove shit. The federal government got to prove everything. But look, I'm going to end it because Brooke about to go live. Everybody go over to Brooke's channel. Um, I'm going to learn how to share it out today. Everybody go to Brooke's channel. I'll be back at 2 o'clock. Cause I'm going to give Brooke time to operate in what she doing. I'll be back at two o'clock and we're going to discuss some more stuff, which ties into the Robert Sylvester Kelly case as well, which is the Deshaun Watson case. So I thank all of y'all. I ain't even going to end it properly. I'm going to just say, let's just go over to uh, Brooke Valentine and let's finish this thing out at two o'clock. All right. Peace. I enjoy every last one of y'all. And I thank you for joining me. I'll be back to a